Hello and welcome to the show. Welcome back to the long drive, for which I have just noticed something peculiar. What the hell is that? There's a random red dot. I mean, you know, I would assume in a normal environment, plane, etc. But this is the post-apocalyptic world, and I guess maybe that's the UFO or something. I don't know. <laughs> never noticed. To be fair, I never spend much time at night here, because uh, we're going to fall asleep. You can't really see much, funnily enough. I'm going to stand on top of my truck while we sleep, less likely to be uh, eaten by the good old rabbits in all of that. I forgot how loud the passing of time was at night. Oh, and there is a supersonic... Oh, there's a lot of supersonic rabbits around. Um, are we actually loaded? We are. That's helpful. Uh, now, look, this gun here is crap. I did get used to having a revolver. Uh, we've got to be careful with the old uh, with the old rabbits. Uh, the reason I was over here, I'm not actually sure. I think I was going to go fill up some something with some water. Uh, there is a barrel that we will fill up with diesel at some point, I suspect. You are empty, so we'll probably fill you up with water. You... Oh, okay, we already have one that's got some water in it. I mean, seeing as we're at this tower... It's been a little while since I played this game. I don't remember. I, I think the only plan I come over here was to A, see if anything different now spawned in these. It's been a little while since I've actually visited one. And B, I might as well fill up something with water. You know, it's going to be useful at some point. Uh, right, so if we keep an eye on the old... Uh, is there a way to turn off the light? No, I don't think the rabbits are going to get us in here, to be honest. Careful I don't kick over my own barrel. Uh, right, there we go. Uh, not bad guesswork, actually, there from me. <laughs> we'll try not piss away all of the water here. Not that it matters per se, because this is a really single player. I think there's a multiplayer f coming for this, I believe. I'm not sure if it's out yet. I don't think so. Uh, right, but, you know, not much to start off with here, other than let's just fill this up with water and be ready to get going. Uh, no, whoa, oops, nope. Wrong button. <laughs> I remember what I'm doing. Uh, right, I've got to try to remember between this and Car Mechanic Simulator. Uh, this, you press E to open and close stuff. Uh, F pulls stuff off, and I can't remember what Car Mechanic. Car Mechanic Simulator is all on the mouse buttons and so on. I think. Uh, which way am I actually heading? Can anybody see? A um. That looks like the road. Over there somewhere. Um, now, people did say. I don't know whether I'm going to be able to do this. Is there a way to. I don't know, I'm pressing space. Uh, never mind. I was wondering if I could like, stand up on the top, but I don't think so. Can I not? I can't close my the, the lid, essentially. Where is the road? There's a lot of rabbits between me and a possible. I mean, we know the road's around in the distance. Oop. I don't remember driving this far off the road to get here. There's definitely nothing over there. It is just straight ahead of us. Well, no, I take that back completely. It's... Okay, it's over towards that rock. If we head towards that rock, we'll get to the road eventually. I don't remember going this far off the road to find the water tower. <laughs> Either that or I have... Completely forgot. I never got to turn the top bit. Close the. You know what? We'll have our little like sunroof part. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Okay, we're off on our adventure. Uh, let's see what we can go and find. We haven't got a crazy amount of fuel, so that is a little bit of a concern at the moment. I can't do too much about it um, at this moment in time. Okay, yeah. So we're not not as far away of the road as I initially feared. I, mean, I say we can't do much about it. Uh, you know, we will hopefully get some fuel at some point along the way, but, uh, you know, we're not at that point at the moment. So my truck was going fast enough. Does this trick work with the truck? The whole coast and then boot it? No, because last time, you see, last time we were doing this, the truck was going well past its rev limit. Uh, oop! Okay, we are going the wrong way, though. This is the direction we want to be heading in. Right! We are off. We are on the way. Let's just check. See, helpfully. Okay, we haven't got crazy amount of oil, uh, but it should be enough to keep our temperatures all running okay. Yeah, last time we managed to get the truck to, like, fall miles off of the uh, rev limit. I don't know how I managed to do that. We'll have to try and do it again. Maybe if it's on the tarmac? 
Yeah, apparently if we're on tarmac, it can just keep going. Possibly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's fine. I can see no way this is going to backfire spectacularly for this engine. Let's rev it to, like... I mean, at the moment it's about 3,000 RPM. It's not exactly adventurous. Uh, <laughs> let's see if we can get it to... See. Okay, it's still going. Uh, it's still going, and we're off the speedo again. Lovely stuff. If we break down, I am in, in a lot of trouble here. Can we get the rev counter to go all the way? Can we get the speedo to go all the way around? I have no idea. We are definitely shifting, though, at, that, at this moment in time. We are really going for it here. Uh, can we fit better speedos to this? Like, to actually tell us what we go to? I don't know if that works for the truck. I know you can change gauges in the cars and all of that. Oh, I put a wheel on the dirt. Probably not a good idea. Although this should be able to get away with it better than the car could. Especially, you know, we actually have got the right sort of tyres. We are somewhat controllable. Life is not too bad. We're not going to get the rev counter to spin around, though, I think. We may, have, may well have uh, got to the, the most that we can possibly do with this. Definitely perfectly safe here. I'm sure nothing is going to go horrifically wrong. Nah, it's all fine. I haven't even adjusted my mirrors properly. God, here. It really was a slapdash jump in this and just, just drive. Just see if there's a plume of white smoke coming out the back of it as we overheat or something stupid. Uh, oil is fine. <laughs> it's all good. Can't check on the coolant. The temperature gauge is sat... I mean, it's not in the red, it's sat by the red. But it isn't all the way into the red. So, that is a positive. I can see nothing going wrong. I haven't seen any rabbits either for a while. Let's not tempt fate. But, you know, we're doing it. I've not seen anything, to be fair. This is, as far as the long drive goes, we've got a bit of a hill going on. And uh, that is about it, really. I did see... Uh, comment on the last video, someone suggesting we should get a bed and try and put a bed in the back of this truck. Uh, and I'm going to try that. We're going to have like our little apocalypse vehicle. Uh, okay, I was curious whether we could drive over the rock. And the answer is we can, kind of. A little bump. Yeah, we'll try like, like a proper full-on apocalypse vehicle uh, and all that. Uh, as far as my plans, I mean, we've kind of got the vehicle that we want. I mean, we want to fix it up. We want to sort it out and all of that. Um, but as far as plans going forward, we're going to try and have this this is my goal. Whether this happens or not is really going to depend on what we find. But the goal is going to be to try and gather as many, I say, resources as we possibly can along the way and try and do some sciencey experiments with the various cars that we find. Like, can we run a car on blood? Can we use blood in the cooler system? Not, of course, on our lovely truck, because this will be our vehicle to get us across. But there's a lot of resources around that 90% of the time we don't use. I could go and, I'm sure, look it up, but I'm not going to. I want to go and do the experiments myself, and this can be a little mobile base of operations, if you like. We've got more than enough space to carry all the things we could want around, so that's what we're going to do. Um, I mean, we, that does involve us finding something. <laughs> uh, at the moment, we've just found a hill. And that's it. It's not really the most exciting of, uh, of things, to be honest with you. I can't, it, there's a boat. It, never mind, I take it back, there's a boat in front of us. I was about to say there's a boat a million miles off in the distance over that way, which there is. There is also a boat directly in front of us. Thank you, game. Uh, apparently we thought it, and it was summoned into existence. That's cool. I guess we'll go... Actually, that could be good for our whole let's experiment with all of the resources, because boats are where you find the barrels full of stuff. The barrels full of loot. Well diesel and blood and alcohol and all of that sort of thing. Yeah, sure, we'll go over there. Um, and it seems like there's a petrol station alongside the road as well when we get back onto it, so I'm fine with that. All is good. Uh, maybe we should be good for fuel for a while. We don't have crazy... Well, I mean... So we don't have a crazy amount of fuel in the truck. However, the truck isn't too bad on being thirsty, so... We should be okay. Oh dear. Forgot brakes are no good on this. There we go. <laughs> once, it, once it comes back down to a sensible speed, then it actually might slow down. <laughs> the problem is, when it's doing off the speedo, it wasn't really designed for that. Who would have thought, to be honest with you? Who would have thought a truck going off the speedo uh, wasn't a good idea? Alright, uh, we lost like 0.1 litre of oil in all of that. Ah! The giraffe is still here. Good old Jeff. Uh, can I have a look? I just wanted to have a look. Check on the coolant. Coolant is absolutely fine. Oh, that's attached to there. Forgot about that. There you go, Jeff. You can go back on the truck. 
Right. Uh, oh, yeah, people, say, people told me here we can put barrels on, I believe. Or bits on the side of the truck we might be able to store barrels on. Uh, I'm going to give it a try. They'll be unimportant barrels, basically. Uh, that is an empty one. It's a good. St we're off to a wonderful start here. <laughs> empty barrels everywhere. Uh, you are a barrel that is full of empty. What about you? You are full of oil. We needed that. Well, some of that anyway. Uh, we will take a barrel of oil. That's a good start. Thank you. And oh, <laughs> can fall over. <laughs> Never mind. Do we have a barrel of diesel? Yes. That can go and fuel the truck up. We will take that one too. And then, do we have any? Well, you're stuck in the floor. You might. Wait, hold on. No, don't kick it because it might glitch out. You're full of gas, oil, and diesel. Don't care. Don't want that. That's going to be way too difficult to separate. Uh, you're full of gas, oil, and diesel. You're empty. Can we have a barrel full of gas and oil? I mean, I guess there might be some use in a two-stroke. That's a very wrong combination. It's like 3% oil, if I'm remembering what I've read correctly. Uh, you are a barrel of alcohol. I will take that. Uh, for science, yes. Definitely for science. No other reason why we're taking a barrel of alcohol with us. other than I can't think of any other reason other than science why you would want 60 litres of alcohol. <laughs> and some science is going to get done. I'm not sure what science. Whoops. Uh, all right, come on, barrel. We were going to do the old uh, football trick because it's way quicker than carrying it. There we go. There's a couple more up this end. I, as morbid as it is, kind of curious to know whether the blood car is going to work. We'll go full on Mad Max uh, style at this rate. But it is kind of that sort of work. It wouldn't surprise me if I saw some of those cars driving around in this environment. You know. So, kind of. Uh, I feel like the the alcohol barrel is more fun. Uh, can't see any rabbits at the moment. Yeah. Oh, I take that back. There is one wandering around. Uh, that's a lot of oil in there. That's everything in one. You're supposed to separate it out into different barrels, not put it all in one. <laughs> that's not ideal, really. I don't know if I can be bothered to carry around another 40 litres of oil. We don't get through very much oil. Uh, what, are, what, are, what are, what's in you? Gas and oil again. I don't know what on earth the idea was with this tanker. I mean, it's full of all sorts of random crap. I'm not really worried about gas. Uh, I'll take the diesel barrel, though. It, there might come a time when we need gas. You know, if something goes horrifically wrong with a truck, but I get the feeling that if we do, we're already in... Like, what am I going to have the gas be used in? I can't bring a car with me. Here. The only thing that we could be using it in is a moped, maybe? Uh, that would be the, about the only thing I could imagine would end up being used. So, yeah, I'm probably not going to bother with taking the gas with us. Whoops. Uh, come on. Come on. I mean, we can find good resources here. It's just a little awkward having them all in the barrels. Not the easiest things to move around, having to do football with them. Uh, and this one here doesn't want to... I was wondering how I take you. Not like that. <laughs> Fine, you know what? Let's just do that. <laughs> Probably been the, that would have been the simpler solution. No, no, okay, we can rotate it there, fine. You know what? Come here. Stupid barrel. Go to the truck. That's the ticket. Well, almost the ticket. Uh, kind of close enough. Are there any rabbits about while I'm playing football with a barrel? Probably, but... No, we're good. We're good. Come here. Right, let's fill the truck up. Wait, that was the barrel of diesel, right? Just check before I do something stupid and fill the fuel tank with oil or something. That would be just my luck. <laughs> oh dear. Right, here we go. I'm going to be here a while. I'm not sure there's much I can do about that, really. Uh, how was... There we go. That's a little bit easier at least to keep track of. I'll try and listen out for the rabbits. Apparently they make a big old attack cry. I've never really heard it. Um, I do tend to... I think I tend to play the game fairly quiet. Um, if I turn it up, I constantly get freaked out by the sound of walking, because the walking is really noisy and weird. So, yeah, I'm terrible at hearing the rabbits on their attack paths. Which is why I'm constantly going to be checking, because I'm, I'm more likely to see one than I am to hear one, if I'm honest with you. Uh, so, yeah, not the best. I, I'm just, we all know in general, I'm just not the best when it comes to uh, surviving these kind of games, really. Where's my other barrel of diesel? gone. Uh, you are the barrel 
for experimentation. Let's actually see if these do sit on there nicely. Apparently it turns the physics off, I think people said. I guess we'll find out. At the end of the day, if we lose the barrel of alcohol, it'll be a sad day, but it won't be the end of our playthrough. Uh, that is basically how it's going to work. So you've got a bit of diesel in you. It's not much, but it is better than nothing. So we'll fill, we'll fill that up. That is all good. Yeah, I mean, we're going to have plenty of fuel. It's not going to be of any massive concern for me anytime soon. Well, that's good. I mean, we've got a truck and we are really well fueled. Can we check a... Well, okay, we kind of checked a barrel. Not quite how I meant to, but it'll do. Uh, can I... Well, am I going to be able to do this? Are we going to be able to fill up... Eh, this is going to be a fun game to play. <laughs> I don't know. Wait. Do we reckon we could do it from up here? Uh, might be able to. Oh. Oh, dear. Uh, <laughs> I can see. I can see exactly what is about to happen here. Try to refuel from a barrel directly into the... You know, actually, what I might do... The truck's not about to blow up anytime soon. We've got more than enough oil. It's only lo losing slash using a little bit. I might wait until I have a smaller container. I could put it in the jerry cans. For now, though... Let's just play it sensibly uh, and not risk trying to carry a barrel into the truck and then risk everything freaking out. We're going to sleep on top of the truck. I feel like less likely to get glitchy rabbit attacked if we can sleep on top of the truck rather than in said truck. Uh, oh, and there we go. Right, everything is fine. We can close that. No sign of any rabbits around the place. Everything is good. All right, here we go. Uh, I have a cat who wanted to come and say hello. He's just headbutting my foot. Hello, buddy. Do you want to come in the... Uh, uh, you could have cats in the apocalypse truck. Sure. Whoops. I didn't want to put that gun there. I don't know how I'm changing what's going where on the thing, but apparently we have done. Oh, I do spy a rabbit now. Uh, <laughs> hello, rabbit. Do I test to see if we can run over the rabbit with a truck? I'm kind of curious, but also potential for freaking out of physics. I mean, that is seriously fast. We're already just about catching it. I would say we were pretty sorted in terms of running over the rabbit and not uh, not dying. I'm not sure what the point of the rearview mirror is there, if I'm perfectly... Oh, oh that's the... Uh, you know what? what is the point of that mirror? It's not like I can look directly through the back. It's like if there's a window in the door at the back, then sure, maybe, but there isn't. I don't know. I'm not sure of that. Um... I'm going to get back on the road and head to what looks like a petrol station a little bit further down the way. And hopefully find some cool stuff. I mean, we can... We've got to cut... I say we've got to. The, we'll try and repair this truck up. I mean, we've got a crappy door. We've got mismatched doors and all of that sort of thing. Well, it's a rusty door. I don't mind having mismatched coloured stuff. That's fun, but not... Just rusty crap. Uh, here we go. We've found... It's not got much by the looks of it. Oh! Just about slowed down. Okay, we are here. Is that a revolver I spy? I think it might be. I also spot a moped. Awesome, we'll probably take that. Uh, <laughs> it might be a good idea to take one with us. We've got enough space in... Oh, well, probably should have closed that. If we'd rolled over, we would have been in trouble. It would have piddled oil everywhere. Uh, right, what have we got? Uh, good weaponry. It wasn't... Uh... <laughs> okay, I thought it was a revolver when we went past here briefly. It's just a turd next to a... Uh... Compass? We'll take that. Uh, can I... How do I rotate you the other way? Uh, like so, I guess. Uh, oh, rabbit. Um, I guess attach it there. Ugh! I do not know, because I know they can glitch through and kill stuff. I know you can glitch through and kill stuff. I, there is an AK over there, but I don't want to run out and try and grab an AK and get killed by... You've just buggered off. Oh, they know the game. They know the game. We're going to have to run and grab the AK, I think. Uh, which I'm fine with. I've played shooting games before. I'm not very good at them, but I have played them before. Uh, right, if we can... Just drop that for a second. Come here, you rabbity bugger. 
Where's the other one? There were two. Where's the other one gone? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know at all. I don't like it when I can't see where the things that are trying to kill us are. Uh, well, okay, we've got an AK and we have actually got bullets for said AK in the building. A little bit of gas, not that that's all too important. I mean, that is good news. I like seeing that. Uh, I can store this in here for now. Because we know that's not going to go anywhere. I feel like that's really not a safe way to do it, but it's fine. Do we have... Oh, we do have a glove box. Cool. So the plan will be store the BB pellets in there as an emergency last resort. We are keeping the BB gun this time. It's better than nothing, in case I manage to drop something. I've now got more than enough. We do just literally chuck everything I have into the back of the truck at the moment. It will get sorted. I'm looking for the... Uh, what's we called bits? Um, what are they called? Crates. That's the thing. I'm looking for more crates along the way. Uh, I'm probably not going to use the bike with these wheels, but we're going to pick it up uh, as it is. Get rid of the stand. Ah, oh, yes, we are going to take a bike because we're going to experiment with engines. <laughs> Can I fit a two-stroke car engine on the bike? We know we can't fit... We could fit a bus engine, but it'd never get any cooling, regardless of what I did. But there is a chance we could fit the two-stroke car engine onto it, maybe. Um... Wait, hold on. Plan. I feel like I'm going to glitch something out massively at some point, and that will lead to my death doing this, but... Look, it's... Oh, I don't mean to throw that off there. It's the apocalypse. If you're not having some fun, what's the point? <laughs> That's my apocalypse mantra. <laughs> you know, we might as well be having some fun along the way. Otherwise, we may as well not be here. Uh, how did I... Oh, the fuel... Oh, no, the fuel tank's full of water. I know how that one ended up last time. Wait, it was that and... That to try and twist it. Uh, not that... I can do this, and I'm going to balance it so nicely in the corner. You know what's going to happen? It's going to glitch out and fall over and move around in the back here, but never mind. Uh, are we clear of rabbits? I do have an AK now, so if there are rabbits, we can kill them. Uh, right, let's try and sort out this, seeing as we've not really done much to fix our, up our truck this episode. We've not really found much, though, to fix up our truck either. Uh, okay, and no point in keeping this anymore. Okay, it's looking good. We've got, we've got mismatched doors. Oh, I've got to try and put that back on somehow. Uh, can I just glitch jump up? Yes, I can, while carrying it. Oh, okay, we overshot. Nope, nope. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> Betting on me managing to do something goofy and killing myself while trying to fix the truck. Quite high. I wonder if we can fix all... Oh, yes, we can definitely fix all those things because they're movable as well. Oh, we're going to have the shiniest truck in the world by the time we're done. Uh, should I take this radiator? Is there much point to it? Probably not. It's got a little bit of alcohol in it. Just checking if there's anything else any good in here before I forget. Uh, nah, it doesn't look... I did say I was going to try to take a bed. Oh, ow. <laughs> we caught the bed with our face. Uh... Ooh, whoa, we are seriously good at uh, football here. Can I even... Oh, this is never going to work, is it? <laughs> Trying to make our little apocalypse truck. Uh, let's play a silly game of can I get the bed to go in the truck. Place your bets now on chances of this ending up with me having a bed flung at my face. Uh, okay, well, the thing's on its side... I know technically we don't need this. Like, there is no actual advantage to having a bed. But it is funny to try... Oh, look at this! We are professional at moving things. <laughs> I'm going to do this in case a rabbit comes and tries to eat us. Now, we might be professional at moving things, but I'm not professional at flipping things over. Um, can we get this to... Oh, not that. It's that button. And that button, maybe? Uh, bike, could you just get out of the way for a second? Just just a second, please. Uh, can we flip that? Not that quite that way, though. Uh, and if we could move the barrel out of the way. It's going to be a, a nice apocalypse home. You know, you've got to have a nice apocalypse home. If you're going to be stuck in your truck all day, every day. I think I'm covering up a sponge or something, but... <laughs> the betting on this staying as it is. 
I'm going to go with a 0% chance. Can I climb through here to get into this driver's seat? No, I can't. We'll find out. We'll find out when we next stop. I'm not going to look in there. I have a good idea it's not gone well. Oh, crap. Ugh, okay. Uh. Uh. Whoever suggested the bed in the truck, it was a really bad idea. We're gonna die. Things have gone really badly wrong. Okay, bed's not going in the truck. <laughs> oh, crap. I saw my life flash before my eyes. I saw my truck send itself to the stratosphere. Oh, bugger me. Okay, no bed. I think we've learned. The barrels have stayed where they are, so that is a thing that does work. That's something. Drink. What's in this? What is in this? Empty. Why does a drink on it? I don't know. That's weird. Okay. We have learnt a valuable lesson. Don't piss around with the beds. The apocalypse truck was looking like such a good idea. It was so neatly packed as well. Maybe it was too much stuff. Who knows? But whatever it is, we're not going to do that one again. Uh, sponge can go in there. Can I see any rabbits? Nope. Uh, not at the moment, anyway. There probably is one hanging around somewhere. Hold on a second. What? Symbol. Okay, so the symbol the symbol for the gun is the same. That's fine. Uh, I've got to go pick up that. Oh, the magazine's in the front of my truck, isn't it? That's fine. In that front basket. We've still got enough bullets. It's not like we're going to run out of bullets anytime soon. So I'm just going to pack up everything again. Because things have not gone well for us here. <laughs> got plenty of magic spray. We're fine. Uh, I think that's everything we need. I'm just going to check that we have got... Yeah. We've got everything left in the basket, everything left where it should be. That was a little bit sketchy. Let's not try that one again. We are off and we are underway. <sighs> Onwards towards a victory of sorts, I hope. Maybe. Onwards towards something interesting. That's what we're going to go for now. Uh... I know it's always got to be get careful with binoculars and driving forward. Looks like we're going to be going downhill. Could we set a new speed record for the truck? Well, not that we'll ever know what it is. Um, we do have the compass, though. That is something that we have got in our vehicle now. I will probably never use. It's not actually all that well positioned because your hands get in the way of it a little bit. But uh, the chances of me ever actually using it are tiny. Uh, I think it can be useful if you wander away from the road and get completely lost. I think there can be uses for it, but uh, I'm not going to be going gallivanting that far. Fingers crossed. I shouldn't be going gallivanting that far. There's another boat. I don't need another boat, really. I do want a barrel of... We want barrels of stuff, but boats are... Boats are kind of like the boring thing to go and find. Because it's a long way to drive, a lot of effort, when we can find the things we're looking for in much better locations. The garages, for example. We've plenty of fuel. We've got some stuff with us. Ah, I can't be bothered. <laughs> I kind of, I want to find buildings, I think, rather than boats. Uh, ideally. Ideally in all of this. I want to try and find some of the different biomes, but we've never got close. Ooh, we will go to the watchtower, seeing as it's here. Uh, well, that's one way to stop. We'll do a handbrake turn. Uh, we might find a revolver. I'd pick one up if I found one. We never know when we're going to need weaponry. Uh, seeing as the bullet system's a little bit better than it used to be with this game, I will take whatever we can get. It used to be a case you couldn't uh, reload the revolvers and stuff, but uh, now you can. So, yeah, if we find one in here, that's great. Uh, which we have done. Perfect. I mean, that's actually got everything that we wanted. We wanted to pick up a small can of oil, which we have. And I was hoping we might find a revolver, which we have. It's not got any bullets in it, but... Oh, there we go. But I will take it. Not quite sure we're doing like a, <laughs> we're doing like a trick shot. An under-the-leg throw, if you will. Uh, revolver can go in the... Uh, it's a weird collection of stuff that we have in here, but... 
It's fine, we've given Jeff a gun in case he spots any rabbits. You never know when those dastardly rabbits, what they're going to be up to here. So, it is useful to arm Jeff the giraffe. Uh, whoop. Can we at least sit down here, fill that up with the oil that we have. It's just under half. Oh no, I was going to keep that. Uh, I normally chuck those away, but I was going to keep that for... Whoop, for casting oil around. Not that they can carry too much. But yes, we're going to keep this. The, the little cans are useful as well sometimes. Uh, it looks like the back of my truck is a mess. However, <laughs> it's fine. We will get back in here. Everything is good. We will close that. Right. I wonder if we can run over... No, let's not test it. <laughs> I was about to say, wonder if I can run over cactuses without the physics glitching out massively. Now I drive a massive truck. But then I also remembered how long it took us to put everything back into the truck when the bed flung it all around. And figured maybe it's not a good idea to go and explore that particular train of thought. Um, we're going to set off on it eventually for ages now until we, until we find stuff because we've had... We've got to found a bunch of stuff. Two boats and a petrol station in one location. Probably not going to find anything for a while. Uh, and a watchtower as well. I don't know how the spawning works on here. Uh, particularly. It seems to be quite random. Sometimes you can drive a long time without seeing anything. Normally in one of these episodes we kind of go between a few buildings along the way. Um... This one's kind of been a lot of driving, everything in one go, and then potentially some driving again. We'll see. We'll see what we can come up with. Um, hopefully be something interesting, really. Um, I'd say so far has been a success. I'm kind of disappointed that the bed... I really liked that idea of building, like, a little bunker in the back of this, but the physics... There might be a way to do it. It might have been just something that was under the bed, but if that's liable to glitch out like that, in what was a relatively safe environment, I don't think I should be travelling around at a hundred and something kilometres an hour that we don't know, because it's gonna get glitchy. Things are gonna move around in the back there, even if they shouldn't. I mean, hell, the world is currently moving around in front of us. We've got that Inception level stuff going on once more. Uh, it's a bit trippy when the whole world just little falls away as it doesn't know what to do. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm actually kind of disappointed about that. The plan for... I mean, we've got enough alcohol to potentially try and see if we can run a car on it. Uh, Fuel-wise, yes. Uh, oh, that got a bit unhappy. It doesn't... None of the vehicles really like it if you dip a wheel over the edge of the road. Uh, I think there's like a little drop-off, perhaps, between... Or maybe where the surfaces change between... Um, tarmac and, and dirt, that little drop can cause some real trouble for the cars normally for the truck it's better in this it's controllable a lot more in this but it isn't ideal essentially uh, now the downside of running see, I don't really like driving night. people want to see the driving at night so I figured we'll go for this uh, you can't really see you certainly can't see much in terms of stuff in the distance uh, you'll know you'll you'll see a building if it's along the side of the road uh, but outside of that Probably not. Uh, outside of that cone of vision, you're not going to see anything. I think you're more likely to see the UFO come along at night. We have seen it once, very early on actually, in my playthrough of this. Uh, it's something that's just a random event that can go on. It'll buzz overhead and cut everything. Uh, all your driving. As I say, this is like an EMP, if you will. Turn everything off for a little bit. Um, we might come across one of those. I was told you can drive it, fly it, levitate it. I don't know. Uh, no idea how that works, though. So maybe at some point we will get a chance to... What is that up ahead on the left? That looks like a building. That looks like our rest stop for the night. Uh, there's a car on the roof. <laughs> it does make me question how the car got there. How on earth did you get a car on the roof? Whoever you may be. Uh... I have no idea. I mean, I'm impressed. I'm not going to lie. I am impressed with the ability of someone who can get a car on the roof. I mean, it's difficult enough to get the cars off the roof, to be honest. Uh, you know what? Let's just shut the door. <laughs> and let's go and have a sleep. Because I'd rather do this than jump around at night when I can't see a rabbit about to attack us. Okay. Uh... Oh no, the truck was off, the lights were just left on. There we go. Hopefully it doesn't kill the battery. I don't think batteries are a thing we have to worry about in this game. Thank God for that. What have we got in here? Uh, Sunbite. For a second I thought that was another... 
magazine for the AK, which would have been very nice. Uh, we have got another wire brush. I, mean, I guess we can start trying to clear up the like side parts with it. That's, I guess, going to be sort of the main thing for this now. Uh, oh. Can we glitchy keep ourselves on the side here? Yes, we can. That's what I like to see. A little bit of glitchiness, a little bit of luck. <laughs> we'll do the trick. Right, let's just... I know we are, like... Oh, uh, the... the oh, that's, that's wrecked. The angle at which we were trying to sort that is not a sensible one, but it is an angle. This is almost a complete car. It's a crappy engine, but... Dude, it's basically a complete car. Okay. No, don't even think. I wanted to see if I could, like... Ah, the finish... The finish mechanic technique of headbutting it, but also... The glitchy prospect is way too much. I don't want to die again. Jif! We found you a friend! Okay, here we go. We have a trick shot. Trick shot in... No, too far. Too much power. <laughs> well... There we go. Our adventures have continued. The truck carries on in uh, all its glory. We came across some rabbits. We've got a much, much, much better weapon. We've got the AK now. We've got some ammo for the AK as well. Jeff is armed. We tried to carry a bed with us, but uh, it was not a clever idea. We've found a sky car. Maybe it was a statue. Who knows? Who knows what they were thinking with this? We've got a bike. Um, that is something for us to be working with. But uh, there we go. That is going to be it for this episode. As ever, thank you all very much for watching. And until next time, a goodbye.